everything today. I'm gonna swoosh the guitar again. Swoosh, there it goes. Tank decided he didn't want to wear his wings today. He was in a playful mood and he wanted to play, although he looks a little calm now. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. All right, today we have lots of things in store for us. Let's do our calendar first. And before that, let's sing our Days of the Week song. Days of the Week. Days of the Week. Days of the Week. Days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Yay! Hello, Tank. Good to see you again today. Yeah, he's a little calm right now. So today. Today, I see after 10. Let's count to 10 and see what comes after 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Today is Saturday, April the 11th. Yesterday was Friday, April the 10th. Today is Saturday, April the 11th. Tomorrow is Sunday, April the 12th. So on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are the weekdays. But here on the ends are Saturday and Sunday. See how they're on the ends of my calendar? So they're the weekends. Saturday and Sunday both begin with the letter S. S, yeah. S is for Saturday. S is for Sunday. What are some other S words? Let's see, I'm gonna get up close to you and see if you can see some more S words in my bowl. Very tricky. I'm going to put it to the side here so that it doesn't fog up the camera. There we go. Do you see that? This is an SH word. Shh. Shell. It's a turtle shell. Let's see if there's another S word here for you. Oh, it's another kind of shell. This time it's a seashell. S is for C, S, H is for shell, sh, sh, sh. This is another type of shell. It's a little bird egg shell. S, H is for shell, sh, sh, sh. And the last thing I have here in my bowl, I don't know if you guys know what this is. Yeah, it's snake skin. S is for snake skin. I have lots of fun things in my um, bowl for us today. When I make the letter S, up here on my board is a little thin, so it might be hard for you guys to see from the camera. But S goes around and around. It kind of is loopy. It's a curvilinear line, like a snake's body, which is fun because snake starts with the letter S. Nice. You guys see if you can find something at home to make the letter S with. String is really good for that. If you have a toy snake or a stuffed animal that's long, you can make it with that. This is from a bread tie from around, I think, some asparagus. Um, so you can do that as well if your parents have any bread ties, long bread ties and your asparagus, or if you have any pipe cleaners, you can make the letter S with it. So S is for Saturday and Sunday. I think that with these videos, Parents and kids and whoever else is watching, um, I think I'm just going to actually do a Saturday and leave Sunday for rest. So a 
on Saturdays, we're just going to have stories and songs. Um, just a fun, entertaining. And then Monday through Friday, we can do our lessons too. But on Saturdays, stories and songs. And if you want to play your Saturday video again on Sunday to sing the songs again, go for it. I love singing. S is for singing and songs. Wow, we're getting lots of S words today. Um, let's do a few songs, then we'll stop and take a story, another S word, story break, and then we'll go back to singing again. So the first song I have is Let Us Sing Together. I'm going to say it, Let Us Sing Together, and you say it, Let Us Sing Together, and I'll say, Let Us Sing Together, One and All a Joyous Song. that's the refrain for it. Um, yeah, so you can sing that part with me. And if you want to join in the second part with it, you can as well. <clears throat> um, this is what I wanted to play with that. <clears throat> let us sing together, let us sing together. One and all the joyous song. Let us sing together. One and all a joyous song. Nice, let's do that again. Let us sing together, let us sing together. One and all a joyous song. Let us sing together, one and all a joyous song. Nice! And there's a second verse that goes, Let us sing again and again. Let us sing again and again. Let us sing again and again. One and all a joyous song. <clears throat> so it's just let us sing again and again three different times. Let's try that one. Let us sing again and again. Let us sing again and again. Let us sing again and again. One and all a joyous song. Wonderful! Let's sing all of that together. <clears throat> let us sing together. Let us sing together. Let us sing together. One and all a joyous song. Let us sing together. One and all a joyous song. Let us sing again and again. Let us sing again and again. Let us sing again and again. One and all a joyous song. Yay! Lovely singing with me. Thank you. <clears throat> I have been singing so much lately with friends. And in celebration, my voice is a little tired. Make sure to drink some water, especially warm water or some tea if your voice gets a little tired. Or just sing a little quieter. I might sing a little quieter here. Hopefully you can still hear me. This next song that I like to sing is kind of a funny one. And I think it's Mila. It's one that I know Mila likes. And I think Aslan likes too. And I don't know if I sang it to anyone else. Um, it's, I went to the animal fair, and I sing a different version of parents, so if you know this one, listen to my version, I like this one a little better. I went to the animal fair, the birds and the beasts were there, the big baboon by the light of the moon, not moan, the big baboon by the light of the moon was combing his auburn hair. You should have seen the monkey, he sat on the elephant's trunk, the elephant sneezed, oh! Chew and fell on his knees. Whoa! Oh, but what became of the monk? The monk? The monkey? I'll do that one again. 
Let's sing it, I'll sing it three times in a row. And you guys join in however you can. Dance around, make some movements. It's a silly song. Do your silliness. I went to the animal fair. The birds and the beasts were there. The big baboon by the light of the moon was combing his auburn hair. You should have seen the monkey. He's got on the elephant's trunk. The elephant sneezed, up, chew, and fell on his knees, whoop. Oh, but what became of the monk, the monk, the monkey? I went to the animal fair. The birds and the beasts were there. The big baboon by the light of the moon was combing his auburn hair. You should have seen the monkey. He sat on the elephant's trunk. The elephant sneezed, up, chew, and fell on his knees, whoop. Oh, but what became of the monk, the monk, the monk? I went to the animal fair, the birds and the beasts were there. The big baboon by the light of the moon was combing his auburn hair. You should have seen the monkey, he sat on the elephant's trunk. The elephant sneezed, up, chew, and fell on his knees, whoop, oh, but what became of the monk, the monk, the monkey. Yay, that's a silly song. Uh, parents, I'm not teaching this song, the songs today. Maybe some Saturday I'll stop and do a lesson teach through. So just sing what you can, dance how you can. You guys can pause it and learn the song and go back and sing it together. Or, you know, we, we'll be singing some of these songs again and again on Saturday. So you can just play repeat. <clears throat> and by the, the more that we've watched it, the more you'll start to pick up the songs. Kids are really fast at picking up songs, I've found. Um, all right, after the animal fair, this one <clears throat> I kind of like. I actually like this one a lot. Um, and this is a great song to sing with the whole family. It's called This Little Light of Mine. This little light of mine, I love it. <clears throat> I think I may have started too high for my voice today. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Now instead of this little light of mine, we're gonna sing, put it under a bushel? No. Put it under a bushel? No. I'm gonna let it shine. Put it under a bushel? No. I'm gonna let it shine. Put it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Now we sing, shine for all the world to see. Shine for all the world to see. I'm gonna let it shine, shine for all the world to see. I'm gonna let it shine. Shine for all the world to see. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Now we sing, share it with a friend, yes. Share it with a friend, yes. I'm gonna let it shine. Share it with a friend, yes. I'm gonna let it shine. Share the friend yes i'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine back to this little light of mine this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine let it shine, 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 let it shine. Yay! For those of you who know what harmonies are and how to sing harmonies, it's when different voices sing a slightly different pitch and when it comes together, it sounds really pretty. It feels really harmonious. That's kind of why it's called harmony. Um, especially if there's more than one of you in your home right now, sing in harmonies if you want, or just sing however you want. Let your voices go, dance to these songs, sing to these songs. 
Or just cuddle up and listen. That's fine too. All right, we did Let Us Sing Together, This Little Light of Mine, Animal Fair. <clears throat> Let's do two more songs and then we'll do a book. Uh, the next song is another song that I know my friend Mila used to love. She loved it when I say bzzz. She'd go bzzz, like bzzz. She loved that part. <clears throat> it's called On the Big Rock Candy Mountain.
you guys had fun dancing to that one. That's a really fun one that I like to dance to. All right, I'm gonna rest my voice and we'll do some more singing in just a minute. But I figured we'd do a little story time. See if I can remember where I hold it. Hopefully you guys can see it here. Mr. Jeremy Fisher. This is from the book, uh, Giant Treasury of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. It's a very, very old book. And this story is the tale of Mr. Jeremy Fisher. Once upon a time, there was a frog called Mr. Jeremy Fisher. He lived in a little damp house amongst the buttercups at the edge of a pond. The water was all slippery sloppy in the ladder and in the back passage, but Mr. Jeremy liked getting his feet wet. Nobody ever scolded him, and he never caught a cold. He was quite pleased when he looked out and saw large drops of rain splashing in the pond. Oh, I will get some worms and go fishing and catch a dish of minnows for my dinner, said Mr. Jeremy Fisher. If I catch more than five fish, I will invite my friends, Mr. Alderman Ptolemy Tortoise and Sir Isaac Newt him. The Alderman, how, however, oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> the Alderman, however, eats salad. Mr. Jeremy put on a Macintosh and a pair of shiny galoshes. He took his rod and a basket and set off with the enormous hops, hops, to a place where he kept his boat. The boat was round and green and very like the other lily leaves. It was tied to a water plant in the middle of the pond. Mr. Jeremy took a reed pole and pushed the boat out into open water. I know a good place for minnows, said Mr. Jeremy Fisher. Mr. Jeremy stuck his pole into the mud and fastened the boat to it. Then he settled himself cross-legged and arranged his fishing tackle. He had the dearest little red float. His rod was a tough stalk of grass. His line was a fine, long white horse tail, and he tied a little wriggling worm at the end. The rain trickled down his back, and for nearly an hour he stared at the float. This is getting tiresome. I think I should like some lunch, said Mr. Jeremy Fisher. <clears throat> He punted back again amongst the water plants and took some lunch out of his basket. I will eat a butterfly sandwich and wait until the shower is over, said Mr. Jeremy Fisher. A great big water beetle came up underneath the lily leaf and tweaked the toe of one of his galoshes. Galoshes, sorry. Mr. Jeremy crossed his legs up shorter, out of reach, and went on eating his sandwich. Once or twice, something moved about with a rustle and a splash amongst the rushes at the side of the pond. Hmm, I trust that it's not a rat, said Mr. Jeremy Fisher. I think I had better get away from here. <clears throat> Mr. Jeremy shoved the boat out again a little way and dropped in the bait. There was a bite almost directly. The float gave a tremendous moment. A minnow! A minnow! I have him by the nose, cried Mr. Jeremy Fisher, jerking up his rod. <gasps> oh, but what a horrible surprise! Instead of a smooth, fat minnow, Mr. Jeremy landed a little Jack Sharp, the stickleback, covered with spines. Youch! The, the stickleback floundered about the boat, pricking and snapping until it was quite out of breath. Then he jumped back into the water. And a shoal of other little fishes put their heads out and laughed at Mr. Jeremy Fisher. And while Jeremy sat disconsolately on the edge of his boat, sucking his four fingers and peering down at the water, a much worse thing happened. Oh, a really frightful thing happened. A really frightful thing it would have been if Mr. Jeremy had not been wearing a Macintosh. A great big enormous trout came up, kerflololop, with a splash, and it seized Mr. Jeremy with a snap. Ow, ow! And then it turned and dived down to the bottom of the pond. But 
The trout was so displeased with the taste of the macintosh that in less than half a minute it spat him out again, and the only thing it swallowed was Mr. Jeremy's goloshes. Mr. Jeremy bounced up to the surface of the water like a cork, and the and like a cork and the bubbles out of the soda water bottle, and he swam with all of his might to the edge of the pond. He scrambled out over the first bank he came to, and he hopped home across the meadow with his Macintosh all in tatters. What? Um, what a mercy. That was not a pike, said Mr. Jeremy Fisher. I have lost my rod and basket, but it does not much matter, for I am sure I should never have dared to go fishing again. He put some sticking plaster on his fingers, and his friends both came to dinner. He could not offer them fish, but he had something else in his larder. Sir Isaac Newton wore his black and gold waistcoat. <clears throat> and Mr. Alderman Ptolemy Tortoise brought a salad with him in a string bag. And instead of a nice dish of minnows, they had roasted grasshopper with ladybird sauce, while frog, which frog, which frogs consider a beautiful treat. But I think it must have been nasty. Blech. The end. And that story of Mr. Jeremy Fisher. How many of you guys have heard that story before? Wiggle your tongues. Uh, wiggle your wrists if you haven't heard that story before. Twist your wrists, I guess would be a better way of saying that. <laughs> All right, we can start off silly. Again, I know we sang this in one of my other videos, and I feel bad I haven't learned how to play it on the guitar yet or the rest of the song, so I will have to figure that out. But it is a silly song about our belly button, and at least we can sing the refrain. It's very fun. <clears throat> so, let's put your hands in our belly button, make a drum on your tongue. Alright, you found your belly button. This song just goes, belly button, belly button, oh, my belly button, oh, my belly button, I love you. That's all we're doing. Let's do that again. Belly button, belly button, oh, my belly button, oh, my belly button, I love you. And that's pretty much it. We just kind of keep singing that. But we sing it in different ways. I, I come up with an underwater version and a whispering version. Let's do it again. <clears throat> belly button, belly button. Oh, my belly button. Oh, my belly button. I love you. Belly button, belly button. Oh, my belly button. Oh, my belly button. I love you. That was too underwater. <clears throat> Get your under water. There you go. Belly button, belly button. Oh, belly button. Oh, belly button. I love you. Belly button, belly button. Oh, belly button. Oh, belly button. I love you. <laughs> Alright, let's do it this way. With this song, 
We'll sing it all the way through, but if you want to, you can just do the boom diadas. I might go up a little bit. Boom di yeah, I might go up there. Boom diada, 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 boom diada. You can just sing that the whole time. And if you have more people in your family, you can do just one person singing the boom diadas and then somebody else singing the verses with me. Either way, I'm gonna sing the whole thing and you guys can do whether you just wanna do boom diadas or you can sing along with me or you can just listen and dance with me. Boom diada, 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 boom diada. I love the mountains, I love the rolling hills. I love the flowers, I love the daffodils, I love the fireside when all the lights are low. Boom di ada, 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 boom di ada. I love the mountains, I love the rolling hills, I love the flowers, I love the daffodils, I love the fireside when all the lights are low. Boom di ada, 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 boom di ada. One more time. I love the mountains, I love the rolling hills, I love the flowers, I love the daffodils, I love the fireside when all the lights are low. Boom di ada, 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 boom. Job, guys. I love those mountains. Wiggle your fingers if you love the mountains. Wiggle your toes if you love the rivers. Wiggle your ankles if you love the ocean. Wiggle your knees if you love streams. Wiggle your elbows if you like be if you love being home. Okay, we can love all of those things or just some of those things or none of those things. Uh, oh, this is another fun one. I have it zoomed in, so I don't know if you can see me if I stand out, stand up. So I'm going to do it sitting down, but you can do this one standing up. This is a good one. <clears throat> so I went out fishing. You got to get your fishing poles, and you go. Uh, I went out fishing. You got to throw your fishing pole. Oh, I went out fishing on a hot summer day. You got to do the hot, like, whew, you're under the heat. So, oh, I went out fishing on a hot summer day and then you lean against a fence and you lean and i leaned against a fence oh, and, I leaned. and the fence gave way that's why you're standing you fall over your own oh we'll start over then. we'll just do that part oh i went out fishing on a hot summer day and i leaned against a fence and the fence gave way and then you go with my hands in my pockets Kind of pat your butt for the back pockets. And then you do with my pockets in my pants. With my hands in my pockets and my pockets in my pants. And then washing all, watching all the fishies. You gotta watch the fishies do the ishy ishy dance. Watching all the fishies do the ishy ishy dance. And then we just do the ishy ishy dance a few times. Ishy ishy dance, ishy ishy dance. Watching all the fishies do the ishy ishy dance. All right, we'll start from the beginning. <clears throat> you can join with me on what you remember and what you don't. That's okay. You can do the motions or you can just dance around your own way or you can just hum, 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 hum your own way. There's no rules with singing. Do whatever you'd like. I guess the only consideration, there are no rules, but the only consideration with singing is be considerate of other people's body spaces when you're dancing, that you don't bump them if they don't want to be bumped. And be considerate of your volume. If um, if their ears need, and their sound, remember we talked about their senses the other day and some people's ears are sensitive to sounds. And so if their ears are sensitive to sounds, either regulate your volume so that it's okay with their sound or move yourself into another room so that you can be as loud as you want. All right, we'll start with this song. I went out fishing. Oh, I went out fishing on a hot summer day, and I leaned against the fence, and the fence gave away with my hands in my pockets, and my pockets in my pants. Watching all the fishies do the ishy ishy dance, 
Is she, is she, yes. Is she, is she, yes. Watching all the fishes do the is she, is she dance. Let's do it three more times. Oh, I went out fishing on a hot summer day and I leaned against the fence and the fence gave away with my hands in my pockets and my pockets in my pants. Watching all the fishes do the is she, is she dance. Is she, is she dance. Is she, is she dance. Watching all the fishies do the ishy ishy dance. So I went out fishing on a hot summer day. And I leaned against the fence and the fence gave way. With my hands in my pockets and my pockets in my pants. Watching all the fishies do the ishy ishy dance. Ishy ishy dance. Ishy ishy dance. Watching all the fishies do the ishy ishy dance. So I went out fishing on a hot summer day. And I leaned against the fence and the fence gave way. With my hands in my pockets and my pockets in my pants. Watching all the fishies do the ishy ishy dance. Is she, is she dance? Is she, is she dance? Watching all the fishes do the is she, is she dance. Yay! That was a silly song. How many of you guys have been fishing before? Um, circle your wrists if you've been fishing before. Um, bend your elbows if you've caught a fish. Show me with your hand how big the fish was that you caught. I haven't been fishing in a long time. I think when I was little, my biggest fish I caught was like that big. I think we had trout. Yeah. Congratulations if you've caught a fish. How many of you guys have gone out fishing? Google your eyebrows if you've gone out fishing and you haven't caught a fish. That's okay too. Fishing is fun. Just the action of it. Sitting out there in nature, watching the water, listening, using our senses to listen, to see, to smell, to taste, and to hear. It's a fun activity. All right. Five little ducks. And then oh, roll the salty waves. Okay. Oh, Mila loves the oh, roll the salty waves. Let's do the five little ducks first because um, it's county. That's good. <clears throat> I'm not going to teach this one. It does the same thing for each, each verse of the duck, except instead of five, it goes four, three, two, one. So you guys can follow along in the end. <clears throat> Five little ducks went out to play over the hill one far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went out to play over the hill one far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went out to play over the hill one far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went out to play over the hill one far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only one little duck came back. One little duck went out to play over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But none of her little duckies came back. Sad mother duck went out to play over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. And all one, two, three, four, Five of her little duckies came back. Yay! They must have been so far away they couldn't hear her. But they all came back. Woo! Over all the salty waves. Go take a drink break if you need a drink break. It's very good to keep our body hydrated. Um, at the preschool that uh, my friend Aslan used to go to and his sister Mila go to, they have a thing called Super Slurpers, where you have your water bottle that you carry with you all day. And if you finished your water bottle um, and you need another water bottle, that shows that you did a great job hydrating yourself that day. And so you get a Super Slurper sticker. It's a good idea. I really like the way they do it. Dream Makers Preschool here in Colorado, in Boulder, Colorado. It's a great preschool. And it's also just a great idea. And they do lots of songs like this too and stories like this. They are very fun, fun preschool. So if you're looking for one, Dream Makers Preschool. Hopefully they're okay with the plug I just made. All right, this one is called Oh, Roll the Salty Waves. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to figure out what. Oh, roll the salty waves. Oh, roll the salty waves. I think 
there, that sounds good for me. Ho, ho, the salty waves, the salty waves in the sea doth roll. Ho, ho, the salty waves, the salty waves in the sea doth roll. And in those waves there was a whale, a rare... Ah, let's not use this. I just like it. Just sing it. It's kind of an Irish, a Celtic song. So this is a good one to dance to. Um, and I'm not going to teach this one, but you can act out the animals and you can help me remember when we go backwards. It's a song that each animal you add on to when you go backwards. Ho, roll the salty waves, the salty waves in the sea doth roll. Ho, roll the salty waves, the salty waves in the sea doth roll. And in those waves there was a whale, a rare whale and a salty whale. And the whale in the water and the water in the waves. Ho, roll the salty waves, ho, roll the salty waves. The salty waves in the sea doth roll, ho, roll the salty waves. The salty waves in the sea doth roll, and in those waves there was a dolphin. <laughs> a rare dolphin and a salty dolphin and a dolphin on the whale and the whale and the water and the water and the waves. Oh, roll the salty waves. Oh, roll the salty waves. The salty waves in the sea doth roll. Oh, roll the salty waves. The salty waves in the sea doth roll. And in those waves there was a mermaid. A rare mermaid and a salty mermaid and the mermaid and the dolphin and the dolphin on the whale and the whale and the water and the water and the waves. Oh, roll the salty waves. Oh, roll the salty waves. The salty waves in the sea doth roll. Oh, roll the salty waves. The salty waves in the sea doth roll. And in those waves there was a seal. A rare seal and a salty seal and a seal on the mermaid and the mermaid and the dolphin and the dolphin on the whale and the whale and the water and the water and the waves. Oh, roll the salty waves. Oh, roll the salty waves. The salty waves in the sea doth roll. Oh, roll the salty waves. The salty waves in the sea doth roll. And in those waves there was a turtle. A rare turtle and a salty turtle. And the turtle on the seal, and the seal on the mermaid, and the mermaid on the dolphin, and the dolphin on the whale, and the whale in the water, and the water in the waves. Oh, roll the salty waves. Oh, roll the salty waves. The salty waves in the sea doth roll. Oh, roll the salty waves. The salty waves in the sea doth roll. And in those waves there was a crab, a rare crab, and a salty crab. And the crab on the turtle and the turtle on the seal and the seal on the mermaid and the mermaid and the dolphin and the dolphin on the whale and the whale and the water and the water and the waves. Oh, roll the salty waves. Oh, roll the salty waves. The salty waves in the sea doth roll. Oh, roll the salty waves. The salty waves in the sea doth roll. And in those waves there was a sea star, a rare sea star and a salty sea star. And the sea star on the crab, and the crab on the turtle, and the turtle on the seal, and the seal on the mermaid, and the mermaid, and the dolphin, and the dolphin on the whale, and the whale, and the water, and the water, and the waves. Oh, roll the salty waves. Yay! That's a fun one. I like that one. <clears throat> oh, if I had a car. We did this one before too, but this is another fun one that Neil and Asmund like, so we'll try it. I think this is the one I have. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> now, the salty waves, the one we just sang, you can sing any sea animal. It doesn't just have to be the ones I did. Um, that's what's fun about that one. You can pause it in your family and let each person have a turn picking an animal, and they have to remember all the animals they did. So that song's going to have different verses every time. Same with this song, the um, If I Had a Car. Uh, you guys can each take turns thinking of a vehicle or a, or a mode of transportation. Um, so it'll be different every time. So if you heard me sing this one before, the modes of transportation are going to be a little different this time, in a different order, and that's okay. That's what this song's about. It's changing it up. Oh, if I had a car. Yeah. Oh, if I had a car. I'd drive it every day. Yes, if I had a car, my cares would go away. Cause I go
chubby 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 choo choo chubby chubby choo 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 chubby 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 choo 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 what another truck oh if i had a truck i'd drive it every day yes if i had a truck my cares would go away cause i'd go
walker. <laughs> a wing walker. That's your job. Wing a wap a 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 wing a wap. You can come up with a fun dance for that. The other person in the family can go a wee a mum away a wee.
Nice job. Nice line this leads to night song. Woo! Well, I think we're done for the day. That was a good one to end on. We'll do the Skinnamarink I Love You another day. But that was a great song to end on. I hope you guys have a great Saturday. Enjoy your time outdoors. If you have any time outdoors today, if it's nice at all for you to get outside, please go for it. And even if it's sunny, or even if it's rainy, if it's sunny, you wear sunscreen. If it's rainy, you wear your raincoats and your galoshes. If it's uh, snowy, um, as long as it's not too, 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 too cold, you would bundle up in your clothes and have your mittens on and just go out for a short period of time. It's always good to get outside, any weather. Mm, as long as it's safe. If it's hailing, wait till it stops hailing. You don't want to conk your noggin. Um, yeah, so have a great day and enjoy yourselves. Keep singing and dancing. And I will see you not tomorrow on Sunday, but I will see you on Monday.